This is Make It Plain. Make It Plain. M I P. With my Samella Mafuma. Mark Thompson. Make It Plain. Get woke. Everyone, uh, my name is Reverend Leo, and today I stand as a person, one of 140 million uh, of the poor people in America, an indigenous descendant, actively illegalized on stolen indigenous lands, and as your trans sibling. I stand before you as a faith leader in the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. My story of 20 years of violence experience as an undocumented person can go on for longer than the time that I have been privileged uh, to share with you. But being here today is truly an honor as we embark on a new season for us at the campaign, a season of nonviolent moral direct action for voting rights and economic justice. That's right. Why am I here fighting for economic justice and voting rights when I still can't vote in the country that I lived in? Teach you. Yeah. Pay taxes. Mm. That's right. That's yes. right. That's and raise my family for over 20 years. My, my. I should have the right to vote. That's, yeah. right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Well, when I heard, well, I've heard about people in the past who didn't have the right to vote, but that didn't stop them from fighting for the right to vote. That's right. Right. I may not be able to vote, but I know poor people and my trans siblings and my undocumented siblings are just that much more in danger if we let these attacks to our democracy continue. That's right. That's right. That's right. Voting rights is one of the best anti-poverty programs. Right. As we entered into this season, I want to say that hurt doesn't define me or you or us, in case you needed to hear that today. I am so grateful to my elders um, because... They have not. They have modeled nonviolent action for me. Lord knows that I've known the alternative too, mm -hmm. showing me that this is not a moment but a movement. Mm -hmm. So on this Moral Monday, I want to invite you to join the Poor People's Campaign uh, for what Dr. King called a nonviolent army. Mm -hmm. From where you are, you are welcome to participate. Yes, Make those calls, roll with us, and let's move forward together. As Dr. King said, in the nonviolent army, there is room for everyone who That's wants right. to join up. Plenty join room. us. Plenty room. Join us. Plenty room. Plenty room. Attorney Barbara R. Wine from Transparency. Yes, Attorney Barbara R. Wine. Yes. And, yes. and my co leader. And your co leader, that was. That's right. Ah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It is my honor to be here with none other than a champion of our times, and that is the Reverend William Barber. Yeah. For People's Campaign. Yeah. I am so blessed to work side by side with one of the most visionary men in this nation, one of the hardest working people I know, and that is Attorney Daryl B. Right. Jones. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you, Barbara. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, I was asked the question several times, Bishop, aren't you hot in this suit? Aren't you hot in that tie? Well, let me tell y'all, it is nothing compared to the heat that this coalition is going to bring to pass voting rights in this country. If you are in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area on Saturday, on Saturday, July 17th, 8 p.m., Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Be there. That's we'll be it. bringing the heat all across this country. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, who else can bring the heat? Barbara Arnwine. Barbara, come on. That's right. All That's right. right. Bring the heat, Barbara. Yes. All over the country, 100 Woo. candlelight vigils are being planned on Saturday, July 17th, a day that we have to lift up in our that's because right. it is the first anniversary, first anniversary of the passing of Congressman John Lewis, who spent 50 years of his life That's fighting right. for voting rights. Yes. Listen, That's right. as we stand here, I am reminded that just a little bit over a year ago, as his coffin rested across the street yeah. on the steps that Daryl Jones and I, when we got up to his casket, we knelt and we made a solemn pledge. That's right. That we would never, never. as long 
soon as we could breathe, we would never give up this fight for voting rights. So I want the Senate to hear us. Yes. You got a job to do. We want you to do your job. Pass, pass the For the People Act now. Pass right now. Right now. D.C. statehood. That's right. The John Lewis Voting Rights Investment Act. That's right. right now. The court back here abdicated right. its responsibility yeah, that's right. yeah. in the Brnovich yeah. versus DNC case just a week ago. Waited until Congress was out of town before they did their dirty deed. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. But you yeah. see, the Constitution does not say we the Supreme Court. That's what it said. That's it. That's it. The people over here at the Senate had the nerve to go on recess, recess. without doing their job at the filibustering the For the People Act. But the Constitution doesn't say we the Senate. Senate. That's right. Right. You see, state legislators have 400 bills pending in 48 states, yeah. already passed 28 That's evil right. voter suppression yeah. bills right. yeah. in 17 states. But the Constitution doesn't say we the evil state legislators. We the evil state. That's what it says. That's you right. know what it says, That's right. Reverend Barr? We. Come on. It says we. 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 Yeah. We. 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 The. The. Yeah, we're yeah. saying to the Senate, do your job. We're saying to the President of the United States, yeah. That's right. we want to hear some yeah. things from you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We want to hear you say that they must get rid of this filibuster. Right. Yeah. We want to hear you say, yeah. no August recess until your job is done. Yeah. 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 We want to hear you say yeah. that you will do everything you can like LBJ did to pass the 1965 yeah. Voting Rights Act. Right. We right. have no illusions. That's we right. have work to be done. Right. And okay. I will be here on the 19th yes. and I will go to jail if necessary yeah. because we will not rest. Not rest. John yeah. Lewis's spirit will not rest until we do what is necessary That's right. and that is get in the streets bring the heat bring it. let's bring do it people yeah. we the people yeah. it together Pull it together Pull not one step back. back we the people we, we the people. people not one step back not, not one step back Pull it together Pull it together we the people we the people not one step back not one step back more mip after this message just a few more speakers before questions. Uh, Ezra Levin from uh, Indivisible. Ezra! Uh, yeah! yeah. Uh, just, uh, just oh, gosh. I, look, I don't... Oh, I am proud to be here. I'm embarrassed of all these speakers. How'd you make me do this? Yeah, you're the one. We're going to say what you got to Okay, say. look. I don't have a long... I do not have a long speech. We're against filibusters here, right? That's right. No filibusters. No filibusters. Yeah, okay, look, right. I'm, just, right. I'm just like a white... What's the filibuster? I am a white Jewish kid from rural Texas. I Look at me here. But here, I, you know what? I think democracy is worth a couple freckles, right? Yeah. I think democracy might be worth a few more beads of sweat. Yeah. Right. Right. I think democracy yeah. might even be worth a little sunburn. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is why we are out here now. I'm not speaking for myself. I'm speaking for more than 3,000 indivisible groups in yeah. blue states, red states, purple states, That's all across right. the country. That is why we are here. We're standing up for us. We're standing indivisible yeah. with the reverend. We're standing indivisible with the poor people's movement. Yeah. We're standing yeah. indivisible with all of our brothers and sisters in this movement yes. because yes. democracy is at risk right now yes. and we don't have time no. we don't have time no. so we are showing up with everybody else here over the course of the next several weeks to tell the speaker of the house tell the senate majority leader and tell the president of the united states yes. get with us yes. get with us and fight for this democracy right. 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 we'll see you in the streets That's right. see you in the streets, in the streets. In the streets. Yeah. reverend jimmy hawkins presbyterian church usa <laughs> 
On behalf of the Presbyterian Church and our state of clerk, the Reverend Dr. J. Herbert Nelson, the Presbyterian Church fully endorses the Poor People's Campaign season of action because Congress has failed in its responsibility to produce progressive and beneficial legislation on behalf of the American people. Right. Millions of American workers have been underpaid, overworked, lacking adequate benefits, while the minimum wage has been frozen in time. Right. For over a decade now, it has been widely known that America's infrastructure needs needs are endangering human life, and Congress has not acted. Yes. The voting rights of people of color and all people of this nation are being undermined state by state, Teach and them. Congress has not intervened. That's right. Right. Racial injustice continues to be a plague across this nation, yeah. while members engage in petty disputes over critical race theory. Yeah. The needs yeah. of this nation for yeah. justice are not partisan, and calls for visionary, innovative, and decisive leadership. Yeah. Therefore, the Presbyterian Church, alongside of the Poor People's Campaign, we call upon Congress for federal protect protection of voting rights by passing the For the People Act yeah. in its full state, yeah. to fully restore the 1965 Voting Rights Act, yeah. to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour, yeah. to invest yeah. in a sustainable infrastructure bill, yeah. and put the needs of humanity before partisan interests, which only produce paralysis. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bishop Tavis Grant, uh, Chicago, Illinois, Rainbow Push Coalition. Right, yes, sir. Give it up for Bishop William Barber and the Poor People's yeah. Campaign. Come on, make some noise, everybody. I bring you greetings on behalf of Reverend Jesse Lewis Jackson, who's our national founder and president of the Rainbow Push Coalition. Yeah. As a national director for Rainbow, we join this collaboration of freedom fighters from all over the country. Yes, sir. My father, as a student at Tennessee State University, all right. marched with Dr. King yes. and went to jail with Dr. King yeah, because he right. would not compromise. The compromise was allow us to put cigarettes out on your back <laughs> and you can sit at the lunch counter. Yeah. My father said, it's time to go to jail. Yeah. I came all the way to Washington, D.C. this morning to tell you it's time to go to jail. Yeah. Yeah. I said, it's time to go to jail. That's time to go. Thurgood Marshall said, where you see wrong and inequality and injustice, Speak out because this is your country. Yes, this is your democracy. Make it, protect it, Make it. and pass it on. Yes, yeah. And so we're not compromising on ending the filibuster. Yes, sir. No compromise. We're not compromising on passing all provisions of the For the People Act. No, no. We're not compromising on fully restoring the 1965 Voting Rights Act the way John Lewis wrote it. That's right. He wrote it. He's the author. Don't change his word and don't break his spirit. Right. We will not compromise. That's right. And we will not compromise on raising the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. That's right. Yeah. Working people need a living wage. That's right. yeah. Working people need a living wage. Working people need a living wage. Working people need a living wage. Langston Hughes asked this question, Barbara, and he's put it this way, I swear to Lord, I still can't see why democracy means everybody but me. No. Now is the time. Yes, sir. Now. now is the time to rise above the insurrection and call for a moral resurrection, resurrection. Yeah. that will revive America. Yeah. Not only do black lives matter, but LGBTQ lives that's matter. That's right. The unemployed lives matter. Yeah. Immigrants lives matter. Yeah. Senior lives matter. Yeah. Low to no income lives matter. Right. Frontline workers lives matter. Yeah. The poor, the uninsured, yeah. and the homeless lives matter. Yeah. And now is a time for moral resurrection to revive the spirit and soul of America. This is our land. Yeah. And this is our time. Yeah. And we will not compromise. We will not let 1% rule 99%. We will not let 1% rule 99%. Yeah. So there's a question in the Bible, Brother Hawkins. Can these bones live? Well, yes, sir. Yes, they That's can. why we're here with Bishop Barber. That's why yeah. we're here. Can these bones live? Yes, yeah. if they have a living wage. Yeah. Yes, if they have access to health care. Yeah. Yes, if they have affordable housing. Yeah. Yes, if they have access to capital. Yeah. And yeah. yes, if we have free and fair elections. Right. It's time it's to time. revive America. Yeah. It's time for a moral resurrection.
direction, yes. and we will not take no for an answer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Bishop. All right. Thank yes, you, sir, Bishop. Bishop. Thank you. More MIP after this message. Uh, Sister right. Joan Sokin from Sisters of Mercy. And media thousands of right now calling, calling all over the country. They're on live stream. The Sisters of Mercy of the Americas, I serve on the justice team, and we stand today with the Poor People's Movement. Our sisters across the country have been working with poor and low-income communities. They're working all along the border. They were at the first march on Washington 60-some yes. years ago, mm -hmm. and we have been partnering with the Poor People's Campaign for these last several years. Uh, and many other religious congregations of nuns, of sisters, Catholic organizations like Pax Christi USA. So we are with you. We are try Our sisters are on the phones right now. They're, they're making those making calls. Making those calls, yeah. All over. Yeah. And we will be with you in the streets. And our, our, our message, political leaders, wake up. Yeah. This is urgent. Yeah. The time is now. We, time too is many now. lives have been lost. Yeah. Way too time many. And now. way too many more are going to be lost. Mm -hmm. So we urge you. Be bold. Yes. We are with you. Be, Thank bold. you. Be, bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. That's right. Phyllis Bennis from the Institute of Policy Studies. Thank you all. This is a moment like none other. And yet, it is a moment like so many that have gone before. The day in 1965 that the Voting Rights Act was passed was 20 years to the day since the United States dropped an atomic bomb in Hiroshima, killing tens of thousands of people in one moment, and thousands more. That is something that is part of our history. And we know that when we hear these days, we'd love to have health care for all, but where's the money going to come from? We need to deal with the climate crisis, but how are we going to pay for it? Part of the reason comes back to the fact that we are spending 53 cents of every federal dollar on the military. We are going to war instead of building peace That's and right. justice. That's right. We need a new definition of justice. Yes. We need a new way to build justice in this country. Yes. And it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take all of us in the streets. It's going to take us on the phones with our legislators. It's going to take voting because the right to vote doesn't work by itself That's unless right. we take advantage of that That's right. right. That's right. right. We need an end to the filibuster. We need the right to vote and the end to voting suppression. We need to end racism in this country. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank a lot you of work to do. A lot, a lot of work to do. do. Forward together. Not one step back. Not one step back. Yes. Reverend Abi, Reverend Dr. Abi uh, Janamanchi okay. from the Maryland okay. Poor People's Campaign will close us out, and then we'll take questions. Thank you. I'm the Reverend Abi Janamanchi. I serve Cedar Lane Unitarian Universalist Church in Bethesda, Maryland, and I'm also a member of the Maryland Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. All right. In the Unitarian Universalist faith tradition, it is a matter of faith to promote the right of conscience and the democratic process in our society. It is also an act of faith. Not faith that any one point of view will prevail, but faith that the will of the people will point us toward the beloved community. Our commitment to the democratic process is grounded in the fervently held belief that all people are created equal. Yes. And that we all have certain unalienable rights, including and especially life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes. 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 We believe, we, believe. we believe that every voice and every vote matters, yeah. 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 that everyone must have a living wage, yeah. Yeah. and that a vibrant functioning democracy is one where all voices, especially black, brown, indigenous, poor, low income, GLBTQ, and those that have been historically marginalized are heard equally, yeah. and that it depends on the their full participation in deep affirmation of our interconnectedness. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Amen. Our principles 
remind us that the oppression of any community is a moral injury to us all and it compels us to fight for and protect the broadest use of the democratic process. Friends, every single effort for progress, for civil rights, justice and equity has been met with systemic and systematic resistance in this country and has required common people to rise up and struggle for change. So as people of faith and faithful people, we are honored to rise up March and engage, yes. as Mahatma Gandhi said it in Satyagraha, yes. to escalate public pressure and ch and charge and urge the Senate to end the filibuster. Yes. End the filibuster. Restore the Voting Rights Act. Restore the Voting Rights Act. Pass the For the People Act. Pass the For the People Act. And pass the fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage for starters. Pass the fifteen. Forward together, not one step back. All right. Thank you, my dear brother. Thank you. So, as you see, members of the media, these are just a portion of the more than 20 organizations that have joined with the Poor People's Campaign and our 42 state coordinated committees. It's growing every day. We sent this invitation out to millions of people to do this call in today. Yes. And then we we launch on next Monday here. We're leaving here, headed to Texas, and I have in my hands right now these letters. You like that, didn't you? These letters. These are the letters, but we didn't want the ones to the president and to the Senate leader and to the McConnell and to uh, Manchin and Cinema to just go by email. We wanted to make sure that they got it, send it certified mail. Right. Yeah. So we are signing these today, this open letter. Maybe you should have copies of it, this open letter, which makes clear mm -hmm. what this multiracial, intersectional, um, multi-income, mm -hmm. multi-sexuality, multi-demographic coalition, mm -hmm. right. multi-religious, multi-creed. That's, right. That's right. We don't live in a monoverse. That's right. That's we right. live in a universe. Yeah. That's right. And we want, I got you, we want to keep emphasizing. Yeah. Whenever people make this small and, not, and say it's only a black issue That's right. for black folk to fight, That's or it's it. only about voter ID, yeah. Yeah. we miss that's right. The trickery. That's right. That's we right. risk the trickery. That's right. Dr. King said at the end of the 65 Selma to Montgomery march, he said, the greatest fear, I paraphrase, of the Southern aristocracy and those who buy into that aristocracy is when poor and low wealth, black and white people join together and vote together in a way that changes the economic architecture of the country. That is the ultimate fear. That's right. That is why the U.S. Chamber of Commerce came out supporting Cinnamon Mansion in their stance against the For the People Act. That's right. Please, members of the media, don't miss these connections. That's right. Make them. That's right. Report them. That's right. Listen to the people. Mr. President, you need to make them. Please yes, make sir. them. Yes. Make them in Philadelphia, but please don't stop in Philadelphia. That's right. Yeah. Ring the crack bell in Philadelphia. That's it. Make your way to Texas. That's right. Make your way to West Virginia. That's right. Make your way to Arizona. That's right. Ask Pelosi and Schumer to invite you to the Congress. That's right. For an emergency session. Yes. There is an emergency at hand. Yes. An emergency. And we need moral clarity yes. and moral courage. That's it. We'll give you the backbone in the streets. That's it. You take the backbone of the White House. House. That's right. And together we'll change this nation That's it. for the betterment. Is there are there any questions? Yes, ma'am, who are you with? Um, I wanted to know, you guys said that this is the time to go to jail. It seems like the public seems to be against this and the sidelines is in support of all that you have said, yeah. but do you feel like they need to meet the moment of severity and get out on the streets and be more engaged? Yes, that, that, that's what's happening. And understand, one of the reasons we're doing this every Monday is because if you remember history, Somebody would sit down in Greensboro and then it would spur and spawn all over the country. Somebody would march in Montgomery and it would spur and spawn. So we see what we're going to do next week, starting with a multiracial group of women.
women as as a seed, like as a call. That's it. See, sometimes somebody has to make the call. The, the bishop asked the question, "Can these bones live?" I wanted to holler one time, "They can." But somebody got to call them to life. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. They can live. Hey. Yes. See, bones might be dead, but they still got ears. Yes, sir. And they still got souls. And the people got a soul. And the people got an ear. And so when they see religious leaders, not just yes. anybody, and poor people, yes. and labor leaders hooked yes. up together, and women, yes. it's going to send a message, both pictorially and vocally, and audibly, yes. That's right. that it's time. It's and it time. can't be just one rally. We can't wait to wait the end of the summer. That's right. We got to do it now. We don't need, to, and then continue. That's right. Then continue, 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 continue. That's right. But the last thing we can do is have backroom compromises and people agreeing to wait. I understand now folks say, let's do infrastructure and let's do uh, uh, some, and then wait. Well, how much longer you want to wait? You got 400 bills. How much longer do we wait? Do we wait till the whole de democratic infrastructure is torn apart? No, 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 we can't do that. We must engage now. And it is coming together. I want you to notice it. Labor, indigenous folk, Asian folk, Latino folk, black folk, white folk, gay folk, straight folk, trans folk, mm -hmm. religious folk. Em I say it again? Immigrant. I'm coming, I'm coming across there. <laughs> I'm just a slow southern preacher. I am fast as you know it. Immigrant folk. That's it. That's the coalition. That's it. The Republicans want a binary fight. That's right. They want it just to be black versus white. That's it. You don't give your adversary the fight they want. That's right. You give them the moral fight you must engage. That's it. That's it. That's good. No. You guys are referring to what happened with the insurrection. You guys are coming peacefully. Non-violently. Yeah, now, now, now listen. I wouldn't say peacefully. And what I mean by that is we're not coming docile. We are coming non-violently. But we're not at peace. How can you be at peace when after a pandemic, poor folk can't even get a living wage? How can you be at peace when people don't have health care? How can you get at peace when 700 people are dying a day from poverty? How can you be at peace when you see a minority group of folk running roughshod over the democracy? How can you be at peace when a few 50 senators are put, dragging the whole nation down and stopping the process? So we can't be at peace. Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace. So we didn't come to bring peace. We come to bring purpose. We come to bring power, but we're not violent. That's right. Thanks for getting woke and listening to Make It Plain. Please remember to listen, like, and wherever you get your podcasts, please give the show a five-star rating. And please do spread the word. Let's all continue to pray for each other during this pandemic and this police-demic. If all hearts and minds are clear, it has been Made Plain. Made Plain.